Deer movement is one of the mysteries of whitetail behavior. Hi, I'm Charlie Elsheimer. Welcome to Deer and Deer Hunting TV. Today we'll look at the role that weather, a buck's age, deer densities, human pressure, and much more play in determining deer activity. So stay tuned because we're about to share some cutting edge information. enter the woods. It's an electricity that brings the deer hunter an adrenaline rush. They're moving. Hitting the woods on a day when the deer are chasing is unlike any other experience you'll have as a deer hunter. But what shuts them down? Why do deer bed down and stay put on a day that has all the signs of being an active day? How do you hunt deer that don't move? There are basically six things that suppress deer activity. Bad weather in the form of rain or snow, warm temperatures, the age structure of the buck population, the number of does you have in a herd, human pressure, and food sources. Let's look at each. When it comes to suppressing whitetail activity, uh, heavy rains, heavy snows can shut them down in a heartbeat. For example, if you've got a storm front moving in, then the barometric pressure is actually dropping. And when that happens, white tails are up on their feet, they're feeding. But when that storm hits, they go on their belly. And normally the storm lasts anywhere from four to eight hours. And then once it passes, the barometric pressure starts to rise. And when that happens, deer are up feeding and moving again. Another thing that suppresses whitetail activity is warm temperatures. Here in the Northeast, anyway, you've got situations where if the air temperature rises above 45 degrees, whitetail activity pretty much shuts down. A whitetail in November has about three inches of fur on their body, and they simply cannot function when warm temperatures show up. So warm temperatures will force them to bed, and obviously when that happens, you don't see a lot of deer activity. When Charlie talked about weather, we're talking about 40 degrees, and that usually shuts deer down when temperatures are above that. Well, that's for the Midwest and the North, and the Northeast. What about guys in the South and the Southeast? It's a lot different there. Down in the South, especially during the rut, you can have temperatures in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s, and this is gonna curtail deer activity greatly. But what you need to know is deer are still gonna move during the day, but when they move is gonna be dictated on how hot it is. For example, you're hunting the rut in, say, November in Oklahoma, let's say, for example, and it, the daytime temperature is 80 degrees or 70 degrees. It gets down to maybe 40 at night. You would think mornings are going to be fantastic for deer activity. Not really so, because when you have temperatures that extreme, especially for mature deer, those mature deer are actually going to be moving under the cover of darkness. So when the temperatures are hot, do you stand a chance? Yes, you do. But you have to understand that most of that activity is going to be when the air temperature is coolest. And for the most part, that's going to be early mornings. When you have daytime temperatures, 60s, 70s, and 80s, especially in the south, you're going to, your best bets are going to be at first light, probably for the first hour. And then one thing people forget is noon or midday is an excellent time. Deer have to drink, and they're going to be moving during the midday. And that is an excellent time to be hunting during hot weather. I'm talking about 11 o'clock to say 2 o'clock. Deer are going to find the water source. 
they're gonna visit it. Are they gonna stick around there like they're gonna stick around at a food source? Probably not. It's gonna be in and out, they're gonna drink, and they're gonna go back to their bedding area. But when, once you figure out these areas, you'll know how to hunt these deer during this type of temperature.